We turn now to that shooting that left five people dead at a hospital in Oklahoma. It has brought into sharp focus the threat of violence health care workers face. It's a topic highlighted today on Hospitals Against Violence Day. News 9's Adriana Daniel in Merrill with more on the workplace challenges from medical staff. Experts say violence against health care workers is growing, and it's something hospitals like the one behind me say they're seeing firsthand. In a study by the CDC, healthcare workers and social workers make up the vast majority of cases of workplace violence, accounting for nearly 70% of all cases. Aspire's chief nursing officer says the job is already high risk and says added worries of attack make the job harder. Because oftentimes, you know, people who wouldn't treat somebody rudely or disrespectfully or be violent, um, you know, they don't think that other people would do those things to a healthcare worker, to a doctor, to a, a cleaning staff member. Rudy says healthcare workers are trained in de-escalation and how to calm people down. And first and foremost, the staff just wants to help their patients. Tonight at 6, I'll have reactions from area healthcare workers about the Tulsa shooting. In Merrill, Adriana Daniel, News 9, WAOW.